essentially anybody who wants to sell merchandise, specifically T-shirts. Um, it's, it's one of those obvious um, thing lanes to go down when you're making music or you're doing something creative. I know I, I get some T-shirts done, um, which is all good. But what people tend to do is do it in a way that's very much you have to be a, a real fan of you to buy as opposed to making t-shirts that you could just run an ad on and sell to anybody because what most people will do is they'll slap their logo on their chest um, and try and sell that but if people don't identify with the the logo with the brand if they don't know the brand if they know the brand but maybe they've just seen seen you around or whatever or maybe they don't like the logo you know there could be a bunch of different reasons why they wouldn't buy that t-shirt from you. so um what people tend to do is they might you might sell a few you know what i mean but are you making t-shirts to come the fuck up and invest in reinvest that shit into building everything else up or are you making t-shirts so a couple of people can rock your logo um if you want to really make some bank with the shit you've got to be smart with it and you've got to do things like slogans right you've got to or it doesn't have to necessarily be your slogans it could be something um you could print a t-shirt right now and sell it uh, kiki do you love me you know what i mean just to capitalize on am i still here motherfucker no nah, you good i'm so good. i was in no nah, you good <laughs> i was in the background i couldn't hear you i couldn't nah, hear you <laughs> you're good man i, I was, was like I was not in the again background. no man not again. No, yo listen for those who weren't tuned in last week man the, the illuminati stole D, uh, dj scott from us man we could not find him during the end of the show he was just gone man so yeah man i digress but, uh, yeah, so, man <laughs> yo we, we we got a lot of people in the comments right now wanting to know how to get a t-shirt how to get one made um we're gonna oh, we're gonna talk about that but i, I want to tag on to um what you mentioned about a slogan with the t-shirts yeah. right so for example my um daughter that was just on the line she has her own etsy store it's called uh pro fan girl and she's mm -hmm. going back to what i was saying my kids just being into music in some shape form or fashion so she's really really a fan girl when it comes to boy bands and stuff like that so what she started doing was printing up slogans and um different lyrics on t-shirts and them shits is selling like hotcakes, man. You know what I mean? So that's what she does. And that just to tag on to your point, what you were saying, man, it doesn't have to be all about you, 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 yeah. you on the T-shirt. You know what I mean? Most definitely. Put something that people can relate to. You know what I mean? So 100% like the example I gave was Kiki, do you love me? Because obviously that challenge is, is picking up right now. Right. Uh, a good one for producers is like, I know a lot of producers would love to wear a T-shirt that says no free beats. Mm. you know what mm -hmm. i mean a lot of artists that would wear a t-shirt that says simply i am a music artist right as simple as that and then all you've got to do is run an ad and in those ads you just target people like if i was going to sell um a t-shirt that said no free beats i would target producers who like pages such as modern producers and beat stars and i would target them and put it right in front of them direct sales page as soon as they see the ad they say oh i'd wear that t-shirt or oh, that's a cool t-shirt click it the page they land on they can buy it there and then maybe 20 25 dollars whatever you want to price it at and you can do it for free i'll put a a link in the in the comments check it out it's called printful and they they handle everything and it's what i do because you can get them printed yourself you can go to the the local t-shirt store or embroidery store and you can get them printed but what if they don't sell Right, right, right. And then you've got to handle the shipping. You've got to go to the post office. You've got to pay for the shipping. You've got to do all that shit. I'd rather drop ship personally. There may be yeah. more profit in doing it for myself, but it's just too much hassle for me. So and, I and just go for drop shipping. You're, you're absolutely correct. So right, right now, I have all the equipment and everything to print T-shirts on my own, but it gets tedious. you got to store your own uh, inventory, the cost for the equipment. I mean, if you can do it, then you can kind of cut out the middleman. But if you're getting started, build your way into doing that. And I mean, you never know, that might not even be something that you would like to do, but just to be able to have that option to drop ship, then it's great. Loot to Printful, man, making it easy for people trying to get started with some t-shirts, you know what I mean? So that's what it is. Man. Man. I swear by it, man. And they, they offer so many different types of like cuts, so many different qualities, so many different um, branded, 
t-shirts that you can print on you can do uh, wall canvases you can do tote bags you can do um hats you can do uh, beanies you can do all kinds of stuff 